Hello, hello, spookers. Welcome in to a surprising speedstorm video. I have not uploaded one of these in weeks, and it is for a very good reason. If you are a speedstorm player, you probably realize by now that they majorly dropped the ball. They've been majorly dropping the ball, and they pushed back their season end date to, or I think it was two weeks later, actually. Yeah, I think it was about like 14 days that they pushed their season back, and so there's not been a lot to do on speedstorm. Not only that, but I have just been feeling like there are better places to put my time and money besides a pay to win game like this. So that's why I haven't really been here with you guys lately, but I am back and for a very good reason. Today they dropped the Little Mermaid Atlantica track and so I wanted to just really quickly take a look at it and hop on to see how it feels. They also made a ton of- sorry I don't know where I'm going because I have never used the private track. Here we go. So they also made a ton of changes and by changes there's like huge quotations and like changes and fixes every time I say that from here on out in this video. Um, I'm not gonna list all of the changes and fixes that they made. I will go ahead and leave a link to their community the pit stop down below if you guys wanted to check out their official post and then also Skyliner Productions did a fantastic breakdown of everything that's said in that little blog post too so if you guys want to check that out I'll put him down below too because he says it as good as I can honestly. I just don't feel like repeating all of it. The main takeaway that I had from all of the changes, and maybe it's just me, I don't know, but it seems like they just kind of flipped everything because they're tired of hearing us complain. And so I'm like, mm, yeah, I want to be excited for The Little Mermaid season and all of this stuff that's coming to us, but at the same time, if you look at the numbers, I don't know, to me it just looks very slapped together and like, oh, well then if you didn't like how this racer was performing, let's just completely polar opposite everything on them and you can be happy now with that. And that's not really how like changes in games are supposed to work. I mean, I'm not a dev, but like I would think they're calculated. I feel a lot better about seeing different percentages, like reduced by 15%, increased by 3%, not just blank slate, either 50% faster or 50% slower. Like that just seems very, you threw darts at a board, <laughs> but that's just me. And that's the only rant that I will have about that. But yeah, let's get into Atlantica. We have Siren Cove, Dinglehopper Dash, Undersea Grand Prix, Ocean Odyssey, and Land of Lovers Lullaby. And there are a lot of racer changes, like I said, so who do we want to try? I have the notes up right here. I would just want to see who I use the most often. That's the most different now. I'm interested in seeing how they changed up Ana's top speed because it just says it was increased. And then I also want to see they nerfed Olaf apparently. So those two. Let's do Olaf. Through my the splash art is beautiful. I'm not denying that they don't make beautiful things. There's a reason why the Disney partners with Game Loft as often as they do. The ships are pretty cool. Oh, I don't like that, Chrissy. That was very philosophobia y. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I do like the the um, the gravity. That was pretty cool. It feels like we go a lot slower in the water. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh god. So the rails aren't as magnetic underwater, it seems. Maybe that was just me. Oh, we were in the water for a while. Oh, barrels. That was a cute little obstacle. Okay, you guys, Jesus. We're here for a demonstration, not to actually compete. God. I like the like the subtle detail of like the pitchforks and the t the um, seahorse lights. Very cute. Back in the water. Very pretty. Oh, and we got a trophy after all that. Perfectly poised. I mean, I didn't collect an avatar. I think it does that when like I get an achievement on the switch and then 
come back to here. That was very cute. Let's try the dingle hopper dash next. And we'll go for two laps this time. I can't wait to feel the I'm prepared for whatever happens. Let's see what they did to Elsa's speed. Olaf didn't feel that different, but I don't know. I wasn't really I was more mystified by like the water <laughs> to really feel changes. Oh, we're in the water this time. The little coral, the little coral cones are adorable. I also just realized that I clearly picked Elsa and they gave me Anna. But whatever, they changed Anna too, so might as well. Alright, it's hard for me not to fall in love with this track. Look at the little fishies at the top. Aww. Must be Ursula's lair. Very cute. Whoa, okay. Don't know why that happened right now. I figured there would be a few glitches in this track since it's not even out for um, like regular play yet. But we gotta try it. We have to. You know, it sucks because like I want to be so hyped for this season. But it's hard because like I know deep down in my soul it's just gonna be a massive grind and often disappointment. And so I'm just I'm sitting here looking at this, feeling hyped, but also in the back of my mind I'm like, how much will I need to grind in order to actually get my little mermaid racers where they need to be in order to like be significant, you know? And that's not really a fun thought to have going into a season. I should be going into the season solely excited for what's to come, like, images-wise, characters-wise, you know. I should be in anticipation, not in, like, stress. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Words this morning, Nessa. Oh, I did it again. That's too bad. It's so easy to slide off right there. Exactly. Here goes. Squeeze me. Hey. Oh, no. Alright, we did it to you, you did it to us. That's fine. <laughs> okay, next up is the Undersea Grand Prix. Three this time. I'm prepared for okay, are you actually happens. gonna give me Elsa? Let's I almost go. called her Elsa. <laughs> Where did that you come from? I don't know. Says I must my dust. My Something tells me this will be interesting. The bubbles kind of look like water droplets, like in that little beginning segment, but here they look like bubbles. Ooh, now it's even more purpley. I like that. Okay. Whee! Perfect. This is most definitely my favorite track. Like, my favorite track set. I don't even think I had one before. I mean, hmm. I think I thought the Toy Story one was cute, but that one was like really convoluted, so I was just, yeah. And I didn't even know the Lilo and Stitch ones were actually Lilo and Stitch ones, so I can't pick those. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I guess Frozen was my favorite track before this, but this most definitely takes the cake. This is so thematically cool. It's so on point. Oops. Ooh. Look at all the stuff in Ariel's Grotto. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay. The floating down was a little slow, but that's okay. At least we didn't get stuck in a wall. Supposedly that's supposed to happen a lot less now, which is I'm thankful for. Was that a shark above us? That's kind of horrifying. Really Adorable. Another trophy. What is this one? Win 300 races. Wow. The fact that I've actually played 300 races is kind of scary. Alright, last- next to last one. Ocean Odyssey. Time for a new adventure. Let's try... Who else did they quote-unquote fix? They ruined Lilo. They nerfed Mike. Let's try Jasmine. She's supposed to supposed to be the most different out of everyone. Why do I have a feeling you're gonna give me Donald? This is gonna be a great This time okay, cool. I'm winning the prize. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes they choose for me. I like how as it gets more difficult, we get more into Ursula's lair. That's really cute. <laughs> the bubble noises are adorable. At this point, I'm just messing around underwater. <laughs> Ooh. I love the bubble sounds. Yeah. I can't get over them. You know what, I will say, there's one thing I'll knock them for, and there's not really a lot of ocean life. Like, there's some fish up there, but like, there could have been more swimming in and out of the track, I feel like. If you can put lava in the Agrabah um, tracks, you can give me a little bit more fish, you know? Okay, last one. Where should we go? And for our last one, Don't let's try... I, I recently unlocked Baloo and have never me. tried him before, <laughs> so let's just randomly grab him. He's actually one of the rare racers that they didn't touch at all for the quote-unquote update. I kinda wish I brought my lucky hey, don't nobody cheat now. No tickle. <laughs> He's adorable. Don't nobody cheat me. Whoa. I haven't watched the Jungle Book in so long. Honestly, any time I play a game last game, it makes me want to do a little Disney binge. Speaking of Disney binges, I've had this in the back of my mind for a while and just kind of left it there because I knew it was going to take too long and I wasn't sure, like, who would want this. But I am the type of person who loves, like, long-form lore videos, right? And with the new update being the Little Mermaid, I thought it would be kind of cute to go over like a- Okay, mess up with the quarrel. I thought it would be kind of cute to go over a like history or like a timeline of the Little Mermaid series because that series is very near and dear to my childhood. But that has a lot of seasons, at least at least three or four. And so not only would that take a lot of time for me to watch, rewatch it and like put together the footage, but it would also just mean I would have to grab clips and stuff like that, and so, yeah. But that is in the back of my mind. So if any of you, for whatever reason, feel like a Little Mermaid TV show recap, you just let me know. I, I'll, I'll do it. I just need the motivation. I need the demand, I guess I should say. <laughs> or like any lore videos, honestly. I love, love going into depth with stuff like that. 
That one was a lot more of the castle, which surprised me. I thought the final one was going to be even more Ursula's Lair. I think my favorite out of all, what is there, five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five. My favorite out of the five was Ocean Odyssey, I think, because that's the one where the, we have the most um, of Ursula's Lair, because I love those purple tones. They're so gorgeous. But yeah, those were all five of the new tracks. What did you guys think? Do you guys like how they look? The music didn't seem- I have streamer friendly mode on for obvious YouTube reasons, but the music didn't seem very ocean-y. Maybe that'll be different when I turn streamer friendly mode off, I don't know. But it looked beautiful. The splash art, perfect. The underwater effect was really cool. We got a little bit buggy in like one of the turns, but other than that, I think it was- I think it was great. I am hyped. I am. I am hyped for next season, and I'm hoping that these changes that they've made are the start to actual changes, and we can go from changing everything 50% to maybe seeing what that did. You know, like, we nerfed everything one way, we nerfed everything another way, now we can actually go in and fine-tune is what I'm hoping for. Will that happen? Who knows? But for now, I am probably going to be doing some, in this game at least, I have to go back and try to figure out how I'm going to finish this. I haven't even touched chapter 10 and that's not for lack of trying or lack of wanting to. That's fully because my racers just aren't there and my racers aren't there because I don't want to pay. <laughs> And that's not going to change. So I probably won't finish the rest of this season. So yeah, if you guys were interested in knowing how far I got, being someone who actually like got the season because it was my first season, this is how far I've got. It's definitely disappointing <laughs> to me anyway. I don't know. It's just weird that I, I wasn't able to get through all of it having had the season pass. It's just strange to me. But hopefully next season they'll fix that a little bit. Again, massive quotes on fix because game loft, with this game at least, seems to not really ever want to fix anything properly. Which brings me to like a whole other rant about why like Disney Dreamlight Valley is like so well kept, in my opinion, compared to Speedstorm, even though they're by the same company. Weird. Anyway, before I rant my ear off to you guys, I will let you go. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick little update video. I will be streaming the season start in one day and apparently 14 hours, as the little indicator over there says, unless that indicator changes. I saw it live when it went from like one hour left to 14 more days, so hopefully the Little Mermaid season is coming soon. They released all of the press footage. I'll pop it up here, maybe. So I'm thinking that they are ready, ready, and that it will be releasing in one day. So keep your fingers crossed. I will be back tomorrow to bring you guys some Disney Dreamlight Valley stuff. We're gonna be decorating the Forest of Valor if you guys are hyped for that. I definitely am. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, but most of all, I hope you stay spooky.